Hello, everyone. I just wanted to uh, remind you to uh, tune in with us tonight at 7 o'clock uh, to pray a rosary together. Uh, we will have a video uploaded of us priests offering uh, a rosary together. Um, that way, just in case you forget or, or aren't able to make the 7 o'clock time, you can uh, pray it uh, likewise on our YouTube channel together as a family. We want to pray in unison as a parish family every week. Just wanted to show you this special rosary of mine. I have many rosaries that are my favorites, and I'll probably show you a couple of them later on sometime, but this is one that I received and we priests received at the Capons Men Retreat last year. Uh, beautiful gift uh, handmade by uh, our Capons Men uh, to commemorate uh, him. As you can see the cross, you probably are, uh, it looks very familiar if you're familiar with the Capon's cross that was carved, hand carved out of wood uh, by a Jewish POW who was so impressed by Capon's life. Uh, and this wooden cross is present now at Capon Mount Carmel High School, but this is a replica of that. The rosary is uh, uh, held together by a really, really strong green uh, army twine. Um, and then the beads are hand carved out of wood that was there or is there in Pilsen, Kansas. So what a very special rosary it is uh, for me. Um, today's a solemnity of the Annunciation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Uh, the very first words out of Gabriel's mouth as he approached Mary was, do not be afraid. Uh, Gabriel wanted her to, to trust in God uh, as, he want, as God wants us all to trust in him as well. Uh, the Blessed Virgin Mary, when she said, yes, may it be done unto me according to thy word, had no idea what it would entail for her in her life uh, and how she was uh, going to have to travel 90 miles to the south to give birth to Christ in Bethlehem. Imagine tra traveling on a donkey uh, that far, right on the verge of, of giving birth. Likewise, her and Joseph go into Egypt to protect Jesus from King Herod. They didn't know that that was coming. Um, but God was with them. His providential love was, was constantly with them in the midst of all those and other trials through life. Um, in the same way, we have to keep that in mind as, as well. And although the bells don't ring for Mass because there's no public Mass is offered, the Angelus bells still do at our church and many churches. At 6, 12, and 6, we can be reminded of the fact that God became man and dwelt among us. God the Father loves us so much, he sent his only begotten son to die for us. So you'll hear, hear the Angelus bells outside the church uh, to stop everyone in their tracks, in a sense, to stop and remember that fact, and to keep their chins up, to continue to keep hope alive, to know that God is always with us no matter what happens, and he's destined for us to enter eternal life. So uh, let us celebrate this solemnity of the Annunciation in a special way, keep it holy, Maybe uh, don't, you don't fast or do anything uh, penitential in nature. Remember, this is, uh, in a sense, a special day where we can celebrate God's grace and his love. So again, hope to see you tonight. Hopefully, we can pray together as a parish family at 7 p.m. Bless you.